Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. In the world of science and innovation, there are pioneers whose discoveries shape the course of human progress. Michael Faraday, an English scientist known for his work in electromagnetism and electrochemistry, is credited to have created the first electrical motor. In 1821, one year after Hans Christian Oersted revealed that he discovered electromagnetism, Faraday thought of how he could put that concept in motion. According to Oersted, when a current is allowed to flow through a wire, a magnetic field is produced around that wire. This was the basic principle that Faraday used to create the first motor. He was the first to understand that if a magnetic pole is isolated, it could result in a constant circular motion around a wire that is charged with current. To make the motor function, Faraday created the basic circuit that was composed of a wire, battery and a dish of mercury. This dish with mercury served as the conductor. A permanent magnet was also attached to the center of the dish. The wire was then arranged in such a way that one end was immersed in the mercury bath. The current from the attached battery ran through the circuit. As the current ran through the circuit, a circular magnetic field was generated around the wire. This phenomenon was the one discovered by Oersted. The magnetic field that surround the wire then interact with a second force. This force is also a magnetic field that this time is generated from the permanent magnet in the center of the dish. By using the left hand rule, you can determine the direction of force or motion in a Faraday motor when the magnetic field direction and the current direction are known. This rule helps in understanding the relationship between the magnetic field, current and force in an electric motor. The Faraday motor allowed us to observe how these two forces are able to create motion. This particular device, no matter how remarkable it may be at that time had no practical purpose, but the only purpose is that it helped pave the way for more sophisticated motors to be created. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.